So, is recycling worth it? This is a difficult question to answer because recycling programs are different everywhere you go and there are a lot of things to consider. How much does a program cost? How effective is the sorting process? How much extra energy is used with all the extra trucks and equipment? And maybe most importantly, what is the market price for your recyclable materials? Doesn't matter how effective your city's recycling program is, if manufacturers aren't willing to buy your recyclables then you're not really saving any money or energy at all. Well, let me break it down for you. Break it down! Question 1. Does recycling save us, the average taxpayer, money? Well, some skeptics may argue that recycling programs are just another decadent layer of bureaucratic icing on the government cake. Mmm, cake. A way for politicians to line their pockets by finding people who don't recycle, and a way for corporations to get us to do the work for them by making sure their products are properly reused, and by effectively getting us to supply them with new raw materials. And while there may be some truth to this, it turns out that a well-run recycling program can actually be cheaper than landfilling. Here's why. Landfills are owned by private companies and cities have to pay money to dump their garbage into them. It's kind of like buying a condo. A condo for garbage. It probably used to be cheaper to dump our waste a while ago, but we also used to dump a lot of garbage into the ocean, so it's probably a good thing that the system has changed a bit. Recyclable materials, on the other hand, are actually worth money. In 2010, Chicago was able to sell their recyclables for about $31 to $47 a ton, whereas landfilling actually costs $26 to $35 a ton. Of course, the money your city receives for its recyclables is offset by the extra costs required to collect and sort the items. Even still, according to the EPA, a well-run curbside recycling program can cost from $50 to $150 per ton, whereas trash collection programs generally cost between $70 to even more than $200 per ton. So even though this isn't a huge difference, over time these savings will add up as we become better at recycling and less dependent on landfilling. Now for the next and arguably more important question. Does recycling save us energy? The answer is yes. Well, it probably doesn't save you or I energy. Typically, I find that throwing an empty beer can in my recycling bin is about as energy intensive as throwing it into the trash. But creating new products with recyclable materials saves a lot of energy on the manufacturing side, even with glass. Everyone seems to agree that it makes sense to recycle aluminum, or aluminium for you non-American English speakers, because of the vast amounts of energy required to process the raw material. Glass, on the other hand, is made from materials that are abundant, and it's pretty easy to manufacture, so the energy savings are a lot lower. Still, according to the EPA, the amount of energy saved by using recycled glass as opposed to virgin glass is 2.7 million BTU per ton. That's British thermal units. If you don't like the British, here's another way to look at it. The amount of energy saved by recycling one glass bottle can power a laundry machine for 20 minutes, my MacBook Pro for two hours, or a Saturn V rocket for 2.8 millionths of a second. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but to be fair, the Saturn V was like the biggest engine ever built by man, so. It's really, really big. Recycled cardboard saves even more energy than glass at 15.7 million BTU per ton, with aluminum cans topping the list at a whopping 206.9 million BTU per ton. That's a lot of energy. A lot. Now even though these energy savings happen on the manufacturing side, they should still be considered when talking about the costs and benefits of recycling. If you believe that global warming caused by humans is a real thing and something we should be concerned about, which I do because, you know, science, then you'll agree that we need to do everything we possibly can to lower our energy consumption on a global scale, whether it's how much energy you consume personally or how much energy is consumed by Coca-Cola or whoever. Until we completely switch over to renewable energy, mankind is still largely dependent on fossil fuels which release greenhouse gases. Therefore, more energy saved equals less greenhouse gas. This is especially true for paper and cardboard because they are organic materials which release methane into the air when they decompose in a landfill. Methane is a major greenhouse gas contributor. It's the second most prevalent in the U.S. next to CO2. Now, some landfills are able to burn off the methane as it's released or capture it and turn it into energy, which is good, but a lot of it still goes in the air. In fact, according to the EPA, landfills are the third largest contributor of methane in the U.S. just behind natural gas systems and enteric fermentation, aka animal farts. Landfills, not as bad as animal farts, but still pretty bad. That should be like the their slogan on the poster. <laughs> so there you have it. Recycling is a really complicated process and it's vastly different depending on where you live. But according to most of the research that's out there, it seems like a much better alternative than landfilling and even incinerating. It's cheaper and it saves us energy. We still have a long way to go to get to zero waste, but I think it's a realistic goal and it's something we should shoot for. Of course, recycling is really only a small part of that equation, but we already talked about reducing and reusing a bunch in the playlist, so I don't think we really need to get into that anymore. 
watch the playlist if you don't know what I'm talking about. If you've got a few dozen hours of free time and want to learn more about recycling, I've included a few useful links in the doobly-doo. Also, if you like our show and want to help us to continue to make good stuff, please consider subscribing or even making a contribution on our subble page. Thanks, guys. Subble. 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 All right. <laughs>